This is your guy. Go do it. This is your thing. Sentai Review, episode 181. Fucking do this, Bill. Rangers in Space, part two. This guy, part whatever the fuck. This guy really made our intro great. Right. The Sentai Review, episode 181. I forgot the fucking name of the series. Rangers in Space <laughs> Part 2, oh, no. god damn it. Rangers in Space. No, it's Rangers in Space. Hey, part 2. Hey, hey, look at this guy over here fucking up our intro. You You're the up. one making the intro longer. Turn off the intro. How many times has Bill started the intro and he's like, Turn off the intro! And he's, he stopped. He forgot the fucking name of the show we're doing. Okay. Look. <laughs> the Sentai Review, episode 181. Rangers in Space Review, Episode 2. Yeah, that was like when I had to fucking uh, cut the uh, the last episode of the What's Up that went up, which was uh, a few days ago, about a week ago now. Because y'all motherfuckers decided no. to go to <laughs> go to Six Flags, and I'm a broke bitch, so I couldn't go. Now, Bill's, Bill says part two. This is going to be interesting when I cut this into multiple multiple parts. It's like part two, part one, part two, part two. Yeah. Part two, part well, three. that's that's because right. that's, that's YouTube. YouTube. We yeah. we are a podcast. Right. It's true that we get posted on YouTube, but we are a podcast. Which I've had to remind people of that several times. But yeah, no, that was literally that was the most I had to do for editing because my dumbass left my fucking wireless mouse in my bedroom and I didn't want to go get it. So I was like, let's use laptop. Let's turn this off. Is what you hear every time I go to click on the button. Is that fucking loud. So I had to trim up the end every time I like paused and stopped and started. I was like, fuck it. But yes, welcome to the longest intro ever. Alright. No, it's just a tribute. It's true. Alright. So... Ah! You can't just take us into the episodes. We haven't gone around the chairs or said, hey, how's it going or anything. He's just, we haven't right. even dropped the, we haven't even the website yet, man. Which, by the way, if you use the website and you try to get to the RSS feeds. Look at this yeah. guy fucking up the show over yeah. here. Hold it down, <laughs> copy time, link, go to go to your pod kicker or whatever podcast app and put it to fucking there. There, okay. We figured okay. out. Horn out the website's one thing, but after five years, they know who we are. Do they? You don't think people literally discover yeah. this show almost every fucking week? Yeah. Especially in YouTube. Yeah. No. Yeah, the that YouTube, the YouTube the... I read the comments all yeah. the time. I'll find one random motherfucker's like, oh man, I'm so glad I stumbled across this. Why the fuck are you guys not putting these things in order? Yeah, shit like that. It's yeah. not just, we, we constantly get things where they're like, uh, did you guys even watch the show? And I'm like, oh my god. Like, listen to more than one episode. Yeah. Yeah, don't just find the fucking show that you like, and you're like, i got to figure out what these guys think about my favorite show. Because if you do that on the internet, be prepared to be pissed the fuck off. How could they destroy my favorite thing? Unsubscribe, unsubscribe. Good. Thumbs down, thumbs down. <laughs> they ruined my childhood by saying that Zelda sucks. Ooh, uh-oh. Oh, you see his face over there? Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -oh. uh -oh. Yeah, that Z shit happens all the time. If you love The Legend of Zelda, don't go looking for people's opinions. You to know be why? fair, some of those opinions are fake. Some people are looking to bolster their views yeah. by shitting out I'm false not opinions. I'm not expecting yeah. everybody to like Zelda. I know that I like Zelda, and that's fine with me. If mm -hmm. you don't like it, tell shit. See. Right. You know, you're wrong, but whatever. Oh, you see? have an opinion. Just, so you just like care. some people go to Six Flags to ride rides. Yeah. 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 You, know they, you, know they, you know what they don't do, Shane? <laughs> <laughs> I bitched out. I know what I did. <laughs> that that's, was, what, that's another reason why I didn't want to go. No, that was fucking magnificent. We went to like six rides, and B Bill Scott and Shane were explaining going, to me the rides, and they're and I'm like, dude, I'm here to ride the rides, not to bitch out. 
Dude, he he was it was yeah. fucking funny though, man. He said, "Let's go on this one," and Shane was like, uh, "No." <laughs> so then we'd move on, and we'd get to another one, and then we got to the Superman. When I, well, we got to a couple of them. One of them, he was like, "Let's do that," and I was like, "No, there are some there I won't do." And right. then we finally go. I, there was like two of them that we stopped by that I would have got on with him, and then Shane was like, "You guys have fun." Well, we get to the last ride, literally the last fucking one. Right. <laughs> it was Superman. I'm the one who went ahead and ran up and to Superman. We're, we're at the Superman, and <laughs> I looked at that one and I said, now they're not fucking dropping me 300 motherfucking feet. I'm sorry. That one, oh, I won't dude, go when you on. When you were in line, and <laughs> me and Bill, we, we went and sat down, and I was like, hey, Bill's like, you can go ride that ride. I'm like, I'm not going to go ride that ride. Look, one of them's already broken. One of the seat <laughs> things are broken. I ain't getting on that fucking thing. That thing's broken. Mm-hmm. So it was a fucking gag because I said I'm not doing it. He said he's not doing it. And I was Scott, already in line Scott waiting. Scott gets in line. And then he turns around and sees us. And he comes back off a of line. And he's like, we, we going on this? And I was like, I'm not going on that. And Shane was like, nope, no way. And he's like, man, I came here to ride rides, not Bitch out! Like, <laughs> he goes and gets on the to be fair, while we were walking around, I did tell Scott, "Listen, man, walking with me and Bill was probably the wrong idea. We're bitches." Understandable. The one and only time I went to fucking Six Flags, I rode one fucking ride. That was goddamn it. Oh, I well, walked to the park for fucking I six hours. Here's the thing: I will go on any normal roller coaster. I won't be dropped from the Superman. I won't go backwards on the Mr. Fucking Freeze. And you're not about to tie me to a chain link fence, which I used to break at the local park, right. and spin me in motherfucking circles 133 feet in the air. No. Why? Because I used to break those motherfuckers at the park. I'm not going to suspend myself in death velocity above the fucking right. park in one of those things. There are certain now, things I won't do. But right. he's, he said he was going on the Screaming Eagle, and I was like, I'll do that. Right. I'll do that. That's right. a normal roller coaster. <laughs> oh, right. I, I was like, yeah, this is like your standard roller coaster. Right. That was pretty now, funny, now, by the way. Now, to be fair, the thing that pissed me off and the reason why I only rode the one ride while I was there is because I was more excited to go to the water park, and they had that shit closed. And I was like, well, why the fuck did I come on eighth grade fucking field trip if we can't do the fuck? Screw you. So I, I rode the one ride, and I was like, fuck it. But I, I had but fun, I, But whatever. I did explain that I do have a fear of heights, and I don't like right. doing those things because, like, right. I, I, and, and I'm so lo- do I. I'm looking up, and when he went on the Superman, well, see, I watched him go up. I was like, man, it was his face, though, when he see, came down roller was coasters priceless. and Ferris wheels are weird because it, what bothers me about it is not the heights. Like, I'm afraid of heights like you are. But the fear of heights isn't what gets me. What gets me is the fact that I'm not the one in control of it. If I'm in my car, and I'm doing 80 miles an hour down the fucking highway, and I take the fucking exit ramp to come into fucking Peoria, and that motherfucker literally has a hairpin turn that's 90 degrees where you have to hit your fucking brakes, I'll fucking hit my brakes just enough to take that motherfucker at 50 when it's recommended to take it at 20. No problem. If I'm in a roller coaster and it says hairpin 90 degree, we're going to do this bitch at 80? Nope. I don't have my foot on the brake. Nope. (laughs) Here's the thing. When I was I'm a, out. When I was a kid, I told Bill this. When I was a kid, I didn't roller coasters didn't bother me. I would ride them. What 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 got me was a movie I watched. And trust me, it's the stupidest thing. I get it. I get Final it. Destination. I, I watched say, Final it's a fucking Final Destination. I watched movie. Final Destination three, and in the beginning, they all die on a roller coaster. I'm like, oh, no, I'm done with that. Shane, you want to watch my video where you get a phone call after you know if you watch it? <laughs> no, it's a good video. It's got a fly in it and everything. <laughs> Bitches comb their hair but in that video. I think we've explained. You, you, you want to see a ring? <laughs> I think we've explained Shane, enough. I'm I've, go- I've got this video from from the 1970s. It's called Death Bed, the Killer Bed. Oh my god! It's about a bed that eats people. It's so you wanna, dumb. Yeah. Do you want to watch it? <laughs> listen, Maybe you'll never sleep again. Listen, here's the thing. Horror movies that are that turn out to be funny. Because the concept is retarded. <laughs> that would be like, like me. Rubber. Rubber. That would be like me being afraid of a tire. <laughs> right. That con- you can watch Sleepaway Camp, although technically you're already afraid of that. What, but- what, what about some killer tomatoes? There you go. No, see, some killer no. tomatoes. See, dumb concepts don't scare me. 
But but, but, Shane, but believe it or not, camp isn't truly a dumb concept. It just has a dumb plot twist. But an actual roller coaster breaking down and people dying on it has happened. Does happen often, and it does happen. That's what that's different. I think I think realistically, it probably happens more often than you'd see on the news. Right. Uh, but here's the thing: that's just it. If that roller coaster that comes with so and so carnival breaks down and kills somebody in Connecticut, you're not going to hear about it. Yep. Happened in Connecticut. Yep. Although Connecticut will hear about it. I think it. it was only a year or two ago, but uh, somebody did die in Ohio. Ohio. Yeah. From a roller coaster. They yeah. fell from it. It does yeah. happen. And I'm like, no. See, and I and I and I, and I told him I told my fiance, I'm like, no, see, that's why I don't fucking ride roller coaster. Fuck that now. If I'm gonna die on the ground. Right. I'm sorry, that's just me. But we've explained enough how much of a bitch I am. So Reploid Bill, William Bush. South Level Sario. Scott Action Jackson. Shane McCree Proto Guy. Hey guys, I know you're about to get your podcast on, so I'll be quick. If at any time you feel like dropping your own opinion into what we're talking about, head on over to FandomNight.com and all of the contact information for every single one of our shows, including the one you're about to watch, is there. All right, guys, I'll leave you alone. Splash! <laughs> wow. Yes. And and the What's Up. Don't forget to go listen to the new What's Up. All right. I spent like two hours and starved to death fucking doing that episode so please give it a like and subscribe what what the fuck you can't like a, you can't like a podcast well okay you could like it but you can't give it one of the fucking facebook thumbs ups how do i like it by just listening to him be by like, listening to i it. like that oh, okay he likes it he likes say. it yeah you listen to it you hear me say hey go fuck yourself see you know, I, didn't, I didn't, that was cool i didn't say click the like button i just said like it Oh, oh, well, fair enough. Okay, I guess that works. All right. Well, so, you did the Facebook thumbs up bullshit with it, is all. So that's why I was like, all right. So here it. we go. We left off. We're on episode sixteen of Space. The episode is called Flashes of Dark. And, and guess what? It starts with Mole Baby. Well, no, technically it starts with Andros having a dream about the Dark Honda fight from like an episode or two ago. Then Andros goes and watches Mullet Babies. Yeah, again. Look, okay, I get it. He's fucking damaged. How many times would you watch... Because this... Okay, we're going to get into some slightly real shit. How many fucking times would you play that back and watch some monster take your okay, fucking Here's the thing. He didn't, over and over and over and over and over when, and over. When you watched it before, okay, when he watched it before, and, you know, Carlos was spying and saw it, you know, he hears somebody laughing, but he doesn't actually pay attention. Okay, mm -hmm. this episode is when he's watching it again, and he hears it's not Dark at a different angle this time. No, nope, but he hear, but but then he just happens mm -hmm. to hear Dark Honda laugh, and he's like, he turns his head over, and he's like, Dark Honda. I'm like, really? That laugh is pretty uh, specific. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you've heard it many times. You should have known that Dark Honda took her. It's pretty self-explanatory. Right. right. But the a lot of people do rewatch stuff. To look for clues. Maybe you missed something. Maybe Your emotions you missed, are high. Maybe you missed a camera doing. angle. That is not what he's doing. No. I know what he's he doing. He dreams about it. He watches it. Like, he just replays this horrible moment of his life over and over and over and over Everybody's and over. Everybody's different. And I get the idea of being damaged. Mm -hmm. And everybody's different. Okay? Everybody deals with tra tragedy differently. So, like, okay... Seth, your sister gets kidnapped when you're fucking six years old. Good. Right in front of you. Let's say you liked your sister. Okay? <laughs> no, bitch tried to throw me in jail. We're Good. Gonna, we're going to have to go major hypothetical here. <laughs> yes. Hypothetically, let's say you like your sister. Hypothetically, let's say you like your sister. <laughs> Good. You guys are kids. Six years old. You're playing in the front yard. <laughs> I'm the bad one for this, okay? That's a... I don't want to use Bill because I, well, I guess I could. You... It actually happened. Okay, so yeah. Bill. You, it actually happened to you. You yes, were young. I don't know how old you were. Man, this is getting into, let's drop and be serious real quick here, and then we'll move right. on. I know we're not trying to make this a serious thing. We often do jokes here. But yes, my sister was legitimately kidnapped in front of me. That happened. That's real. I was seven years old. I was in the yard. She was, she, I believe she was three or four. This has been a long time ago. It still replays every now and then in my mind because I remember the way it happened. <clears throat> the car drove up. The lady and the guy got out. I didn't know the I didn't know the lady. I didn't know the guy. They walked into the yard. The guy grabbed her, picked her up, 
And then they said to me, because I remember I stood up and I said, what are you doing? And they said, we're supposed to take her to dinner. We'll be right back. They got in the car and they drove the fuck off. And I remember as soon as it happened, I went in and I told my mom, I said, I said, and you know what? I'm going to say his name because fuck him. Gary just took Annie and she said, excuse me? And then what followed was this traumatic event of calling cops and asking a lot of questions and trying to hunt down where he went and what the fuck happened. And it turned into a major giant fucked up court battle and, and basically statewide search that didn't pan any results because the motherfucker left four states over. And he was fucking gone. Mm-hmm. And the, only, the next time I communicated with my sister, she was 24 and was introducing me to my nephew. This happened for real. And though I might remember how it happened, I don't fucking sit around and torment myself on a daily basis being like, Annie. But here's the thing. No. There's a, there's a, there's a, few, there's a, there's a couple of differences between your situation and Andrew's situation. Yes. Her scary dad, monster for scary one. Scary monster kidnapped his sister. Though I could argue that Gary Weaver, sorry, real name, I don't give a fuck. He doesn't deserve any credibility. And don't, you can't look him up because that's not his name anymore. But regardless, right. that guy, that guy was a cocaine addict. He was a massive druggie. He was a horrible influence. He was an abusive, psychotic fuck. I guess towards a seven-year-old, it, he looks like a monster. He was a monster. Yeah. But... And but like I told you, everybody deals with tragedy differently. While you did not sit there and be like, <laughs> "We're my sister." Andros does. It bothered me. It, it bothered it, me and, for and, years. And, and, and here's the thing: if you were a Power Ranger, I'm pretty sure you would have went and looked for. Her. I guess maybe yeah. But yeah. you're 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 not. You're normal. You're 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 Bill. Yeah. You're Fifty Shades of Normal. Okay. Fifty Shades of Normal guy. Fifty Shades of Normal guy. Okay, so. You don't have that, that, that luxury of just breaking down doors and like, it's morphin' time, I'm gonna boop your ass. You can't do that. Yeah. But. Yeah, cause he's 50 shades of normal guy. 50 shades of normal guy when he goes and buys you a steak. <laughs> that is. <laughs> I'm that not is saying- a legitimate warning to anybody out there that has the split parentship thing that's not going too well. Keep your eye on all activities because Gary was her father. That's how he was able to cross the state line. That's how, when mm-hmm. the court battles broke out, it became possession is nine-tenths of the law. Yep. Mm-hmm. He just did what he fucking wanted to, and by the time we could react, it was way too fucking late, and he was way too fucking gone. So, Andros deals with it in his own way. And I, I'm not saying it's healthy. It's actually not healthy to continuously watch it. No. Shit, no. Especially since no, he's not no, actually no, looking no. for clues. Now, I'll give I'll give him yeah. somewhat qu- credit if he's rewatching him. Like, I've got to figure this out. Yes. I've got to figure out how she was kidnapped. Why? Who did it? There's got to be something on this disc that tells me. But he didn't. He was right. he missed his sister and he watched it and he replays it in his head. He has dreams about it. Yeah. It's a traumatic experience. In which case, truth be told, if you miss your sister, you watch mullet babies up until fucking kidnapping. And then as soon as it comes to kidnapping, <laughs> well, we're gonna turn that off. Yeah. I saw my sister. Right I get around it. episode fifty two. I'm not gonna rewatch <laughs> I'm not gonna rewatch for the billionth time my mother's head getting <laughs> decapitated from off of her body and the blood spilling everywhere right. because I miss my mother. It's fucked up. This dude suffers from some sort of massive fucking PSTD, and it's fine that he that 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 uh, uh, th- that he can do this. Okay, this does happen to people. Some people don't handle a situation like that the way that I was able to walk away from it. Okay, but realistically, here, when this guy has these kinds of problems, he should not lead the fucking Power Rangers. Mm-hmm. Oh, speaking of the Rangers. They're off to Dagobah system. Yeah, they're off to fucking see if they can find Yoda. I heard, yeah. I heard, yeah. I heard yeah. that. I heard that. <laughs> and when they said Dagobah system, I was like, "Did you just say what I thought you just said? I mean, what are you yeah. looking for, Yoda? Yoda gonna tell you where your sister's at?" Yeah, <laughs> it was fun. But uh, you know, I get it. I know that you know. I will tell you the same thing. I, I love Andros. I really do. I love this series. This is my favorite series. Of all the Rangers that we're going to watch, you know, but but when Andros comes, is broken, he is broken, 
But you also got to. And I, what I find interesting about the fact that he's broken is that you look at all the Red Rangers that came before him. Let's look at TJ. He didn't really have much tragedy going on in his no, life. He had basically none. Let's look no. at Tom, Tommy. Come on, you. Uh, yes, you were. You you might have a little bit of trauma from being turned evil by Rita, but you overcame it, and you really didn't look back on it. No, they they give indication that it might still bother him to this day, and I think that comes down to while Power Rangers is very quick to dismiss what's actually happening. When a monster shoots a laser across the city and destroys six skyscrapers, a lot of fucking people died. Yes. And yeah. I don't give a fuck that they claim that it was in the abandoned residential not, area of Angel Grove. There cannot be that many abandoned yeah, residents. It's not possible. Right. When that Dragon Zord came out and shot missiles everywhere, he killed some people. Yes. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you this right now. is that And, when, and we look, let's look farther back. Jason Scott. That's a golden boy, Jason. Okay, no, they he may have they, had, give, they give indications that something was going on with his parents. Yeah. Yes, but nothing. No, but we never get a, we never get any idea as to what. And because we don't, right, we have to assume that he had a a good life, and he probably did. To be yeah. fair, so now let's look at so now Andros, in my opinion, is the first Ranger, Red Ranger, leader of team that legitimately has broken problems. I lost my home, I lost my sister. Hell, I don't even know where all my people are at. I know they escaped. I have no idea where they're at. Uh, he My does best know where friend they are. is, well, you yeah, know. He doesn't know where his parents he are. Even, he even reveals, no, he does know where they are. Oh, yeah, he forgot. He that. even reveals later on specifically that he uh, not only knows where they are, he's in communication with yeah, them. Yeah, so, the, okay, okay. So, he, but he still has traumatic experiences. Yes. And, you know, that's interesting to me. Other rangers later down the road will have will come to have these kind of problems. Not like sister kidnapping and shit, but what I mean is that Andrew started it, in my opinion. He oh, actually the, has the being tr- broken, being bullshit. broken, being emotional. He lost his friend, his best buddy. We'll we'll talk about that a little, yeah, little bit later. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll get talk there about in a little bit. But reason. there are yes. reasons that he is the way he is. Now, I will tell you: did, should he be the leader? Probably not, because I brought it up with the '90s cartoon of X Men when Gene something happens to Gene. Scott cannot lead the team. Yep. And I tell you, I don't like fucking uh, Cyclops for that big reason. Oh yeah, yeah. And what? And I don't have any ends. Oh, I'm gonna fucking bury your ass. <laughs> Meanwhile, we go to an old West planet. Oh uh, yeah, lone wolfing, lone wolf or lone wolf, lone wolves because bad leader. And before he does that, he he purposely they just left, telling him exactly where they were going. Why? Because we're a fucking team. Yeah, we're gonna so go here. So what does he do? I'm going here. Decca, tell nobody. You don't know where I went. But the AI still states the obvious. Andros, you can't go there. That's that's a bad system. Tell nobody I'm going here. But don't go there. It's a bad system. I'm still going there. Don't go there. This bad dude system. is an awful fucking leader. Awful. 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 And now we get to the Star Wars Cantina meets the Back to the Future Three Salute. <laughs> I saw, I saw that. Yeah. I saw that when they were in the Old West. I'm like, ah, ah Old West. Yeah. I like it. We, we get some of the birds returning from the Power Rangers, the Mighty Morphin era, the Tengus. Yeah, the Tengus. Yep. And, and uh, uh, Andros wears his cult robe. I mean, disguise. I'm going to tell you something. While he's a bad leader, this plan wasn't the worst plan in the world. And if, he would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for some circumstantial bullshit. For those meddling kids and their stupid dog. The fact that the man when he the man didn't realize that his fucking morpher was showing. He need longer sleeves. Lo- and, if he would have had longer sleeves, he would have gotten away with this. I'll let you know but that. Then he couldn't have held the cards because it would have been awkward because he'd always <laughs> had to pick up the sleeves. Then use like, the sleeve that doesn't have your morpher on it. <laughs> I'm going to hold the cards with this because I have no morpher and here. His, and his white boots weren't showing this time. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, and this time he was like, yeah, last time my boots kind of fucked me. Yeah, he's like, let's go with longer. And then when he when he gets back, he's like, Look at morpher. that. That's learning right there. Yeah. That's becoming it, a little better at dumb shit that you do that you shouldn't be fucking doing. But yeah, no, especially just... after you kick the shit out of everybody in a poker game, and they're like, I'm going to fuck you up! And he's like, Jedi mind trick. Okay, I won't fuck you up now. Well, he he was going to shoot that guy. So, <laughs> key cards from Eltar. Yep. Now, yes. Very important key cards. Important key cards that bring up a very important question. Go ahead. These key cards. This is legitimately important. Mm-hmm. Are these... 
the same key cards that will later be used to create the digital imprints for the Psycho Rangers. No, those were more like a plastic key card. But they're not those key cards altered? Weren't the reason I ask is very speaking, important. Technically that's, that's, speaking, that'll the, be uh, the next part weren't that the we key get co- How many key- of them were there? Uh, f- five. There were five of them. Yes. Yeah. There were five of these cards. But now, my question is... is I and there are five robotic personality morphing grid tied rangers that should have been on Eltar protecting Eltar. Uh, actually, we'll kind, kind of come up with that a little later on once we see someone else return. And they are gone. Yes. Could the programs that make it possible to create fully sentient life forms, be them machines or whatnot, that are tied to the morphing grid, be imprinted on those cards? It's a possibility. Yeah. Yeah, it's a strong possibility, especially considering No, the these cards are used to unlock the V vehicle thing. Yes. Yeah. V vehicle. I remember I thought I remembered the ones for the Psycho Rangers being color coordinated for, yeah. well, for the, each the, of them. They were kind of like yeah. greenish yellow yeah. over uh, overlay. Yeah, yeah, so. that's right because these cards end up being like, like majorly like white. black with a yeah. little bit of white. Yeah, they're yeah. they're yeah. like yeah. they look like just like your normal key card type. Regardless, because Robot later Rangers, on the, yeah, Robot Rangers are gone yeah. somehow. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And Eltar is destroyed. Yeah. And yeah, because Zordon cause has been taken. On, Where the yeah. fuck are they? Yeah, later on when they're using the key cards to get in, they'll look around. They'll be like, "Huh, more key cards." That's like, what do you mean more key cards? Don't you have the only key cards to get the fuck in the door? <laughs> so yeah, maybe that's what that is. Maybe, maybe. But uh, so Andros goes in and sits down for a nice poker game while uh, Darkon- Darkonda first goes upstairs to get a strength potion. They get spiked. They get spiked by Ecliptor. Because he's fucking evil. And Ecliptor he hates is evil. Dark I'm not gonna, evil. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that Ecliptor is evil! the nice guy. He's Let's do this again. Let's do this again, okay? Go ahead. Just because I fucking deal with this. I Ecliptor get fucking, was made evil. I get, I get fucking DMs and emails all the fucking time from fans, okay? I'm fine with that. Okay. More than happy to receive emails from fans and shit like that. But... One of these messages that I continually get is to tell me that Linkara thinks this, or sees that, or he's already talked about it, and Linkara has all these fucking people believing that Ecliptor is an honorable monster. He, he, he's a he, scheming... He does always talk about being honorable and stuff. But it's bullshit. Yeah. What honorable thing has he done to this point? He hasn't killed Astronomer. That's not honorable. Yeah, he raised he, a kidnapped victim and and fucking brainwashed. Would you consider? Her. Would you consider honorable that when she was helped? God, this is later. I don't. That's wanna... not honorable. Yeah, he cho- He Oops, took a whatever. child, I'm gonna... knowing it yeah, was no. a stolen child, and he for the most part he knows her history. Not exact, yeah. but he knows something's fucked up, and he raised it and taught it to be evil, and knew that it's knew that its proper nature was to be a good person. Now, I'm yeah. gonna, I don't want to bring up my point because Bad it guy. does come up later in an episode. So I'll leave mine until that episode comes up. But going uh, further than that, he's not What has he done? That's honorable. Yeah. Because I keep getting this this report that oh, I can't wait to hear you guys talk about Ecliptor. He's like the first honorable monster. Where? Yeah. He's Where's not his honorable. Fucking honor? If, he's if, he's you know making what? shady deals in yeah. shadowy rooms, poisoning his partners. He was told by his, quote, princess, who he would never hurt. The fuck? Yeah. Maybe physically, but his emotionally. Basic, yeah, his daughter that it's he basically daughter, raised, yeah. that he fucked up on an emotional level to the point where she'll never be right her entire goddamn life. Then, on top of that, she tells him, that guy's your partner. Whether you like him or not, he's getting shit done. You're to support him on getting shit done. All right, I'm going to make a backyard shady deal in the shadows to poison my partner and kill him. There, Okay, Ecliptor literally wears his emotions on his sleeve. Right, but is, is, he's that, made is, it, it, is it honorable no, to poison it's your, not, your partner it, it, in no, the dark? No, it's not honorable, but for some... We, they've been told, we've been told by he, but he cannot stand... Darkonda. He can't. Those yeah. two hate each other. That's fine. Yeah. 
You know who else and ate each other? Because he knows Darkonda is trying to fucking manipulate astronomer. You know who else don't really Which care is his for each other? Daughter. There's two other people that don't care for each other in in a massive storyline that ran for fucking years. It still is. And that was Worf and Galron. Galron becomes the Klingon High Council lead member. He basically becomes their fucking emperor. Right. Yep. Oh, you went that route. You were going a different route. I was but going, he did. I was going Goku Vegeta. And throughout the years, well, yeah. Yeah. throughout the years, Worf was stripped of his honor, was shit on, was a low ball of the of the Klingon Empire, was, was literally asked to leave, was b- literally banished. disbanded was disbanded. Well, he accepted discommendation. He was considered to be a low profile piece of shit warrior traitor. And then he was able to work his way back up through acts of honor and support to a person he didn't legitimately like, Mm -hmm. but he knew that it was honorable to do certain things that he did and back Galron. That is honor. Vegeta is also, I don't know, Vegeta became a better person. Vegeta's not honorable. He's not an honorable warrior. He fucking killed millions of people in horrible fucking He doesn't ways. talk about honor, he talks about pride. Yes, he's yeah, that's prideful. Different. He has yeah. he has he has his own moral code that he himself follows and will not break through pride, not honor. Yeah. And, it, and, and, and Goku and didn't change him. Honor right. is about doing what is right. In fact, be it even against the benefit of yourself. In fact, Goku yeah. gave him a very unhealthy fucking obsession. Right. And Bulma. in fact, Bulma let's, let's is the one that changed him. It. Let's just say fuck it. Let's just jump the fuck ahead. If you want to give Ecliptor honorable because he doesn't kill a Red Ranger, and because he doesn't kill a Red Ranger again because Astronomus there saying, don't fucking do it, and he's going to listen to his damn daughter, and he doesn't kill his daughter for it's a third honor. time, that's not honor. That's, I need to protect my fucking daughter. Yeah. Even bad guys in this universe have kids, and even bad guys have been shown to do what they do for their kids because they're that's because they are their kids. That is not the same thing as honor. That because is your kid. Even a bad guy isn't going to be a douche to his own fucking child. Douchey. Well, yeah, douchey. Douche baggins. Well, well, because it, hey, shut the fuck up, Sprocket. Well, he but. is not. He is a back. He is. He's a fucking bad guy through and through. He's not honorable. If. If he had the chance to strip the rangers of their power and kill them as human beings, he'd fucking do it. To be fair, Mm -hmm. if I'm correct, which I don't know if anybody wants to correct me, they can. They'll hear it It in the comments. It doesn't happen until the very end, but we all know what the Z-Wave does. Yeah. And it kills him. Yep. If If he was an honorable monster that had any kind of redeeming quality, because this is fucked up, Zed is saved by the Z-Wave, because somewhere in the mm-hmm. back of his soul, there's something good there. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck it is. And the Z-Wave basically just stripped away all of his evil. But Same it with Rita. fucking oh, no. eliminated. I, I know what's good. What's good there is love, because him and fucking Rita got married. Yeah, they had real love, not yeah. bad guys At together At first love. it wasn't real. Right, but right. they have... They do. Real, legitimate, caring... So that's what saved Zed. What, what yes. saves Eclipter which makes is Eclip- nothing, which, which is why makes, he's not saved. Which makes Ecliptor... But even Ecliptor, by the bounds of what the Z-Wave shows us, he might... He it, Maybe there's even a, le- a weird, sick ownership thing taking place with that's my, quote, adopted kid. Because love did not save Ecliptor. Yeah. It, it completely killed him. He's he's gone. Now you could also say that he was made a monster born and bred. Yes. I guess. But then I would argue there's an awful lot of monsters that survived the Z I don't know. This is weird because the Z Wave does eliminate it. It doesn't matter if you're no. if you were made or you were a monster because we all saw earlier in the season what happened. That B That B That B yeah. did not want to hurt anybody. Yeah. It was a good hearted monster. Right. That's true. That is why the Rangers did not destroy that monster. They let that monster be. They let him go. Yes. Yeah. Because you're a good person. You're and a good Clipter, monster. And the Z-Wave Clipter probably wiped it out. 
eclipse her. No, no, for, that, that, no, I don't think they, I don't think the Z way would have touched that monster because it truly yeah, did have it, a it, kind it, heart. Yeah, it yeah. would have turned him into just some random. It may have, dude. It may have even turned him into like a human. Eclipse yeah. is a know. bad guy. <laughs> he is an evil person. But here's Stop the trying to add. I get it. This is a guy that this is a bad guy people like. You can like your bad guy, but you have to look at him objectively and be real mm-hmm. about it. I'll be honest with you. He is not an honorable Eclipter bad guy. Eclipse does look yeah. cool, and I think Eclipse is a cool bad guy. Yes. Yeah. He's got his own issues. He hates Darkonda. In fact, I would say that Eclipse has the exact same level of honor that you would give to Goldar. Yeah. Goldar was quick to fight one on one in the sun with the Red Ranger. Yeah. And in a so is he because I'd rather fight you face to face than stab yes. you in the back. Yes. Well, anyway, and he's not afraid to. But fight. at the same time, he's not Goldar, afraid to stab. Fucking... Goldar would stab a motherfucker in the back, right? And poison you in the dark and fight you in a dry ice room. Yes, where he can't see you. Where you can't see. Just under where you the dry can't. Ice. Where you can't see you two it's, feet from him. Eclipter's well, that's, not. That's because he's got bad eyes. Eclipter is not an <laughs> honorable sh- bad guy. Maybe he shouldn't be fighting on the front lines. No, Dude, that's that, why he has to fight you face to face in the sun. He's got bad eyes. Just a fucking bad guy. <laughs> I get it. Does anybody here actually like Darkonda? Because I think that he's actually a kind of a cool villain. I think he's a in cool villain. In terms of a no. villain, yes, he's a decent villain, but. He's climbing eh. the ranks. He knows what he's doing. I am getting a little tired of the... I don't like multiple life, no consequences bullshit. The fact that he has like nine I'm lives. I'm so tired of him fucking dying and coming back and dying and coming back and dying well, and coming back. Well, near the back. end when he's like, I've only got four lives left. You should count yourself lucky. And he kind of walks away and he kind of... Fucking goddamn it! I'm gonna die one of these days now, you motherfuckers. See, but I uh, yeah, getting so so like, now he's starting to worry. But, he shows up and they know. fight, and then something happens, and he fucking dies and explodes. And the last time he exploded, that was before they even revealed that he has multiple lives. They were like, "Oh, I blew up," and I was like, "I don't give a fuck." Like yeah, he fell over, and he was like, "Uh, but doom," and I was like, "Who gives a fuck?" He's just going to come the fuck back. And literally in the next scene, he was like, good thing I fucking have multiple lives. As he was scratching one of his lives off a scroll. And I was like, who cares? It is inconsequential to fight him when he can't die. It's like Dragon Ball Z villains went from being competent, evil villains that you had to outsmart, outwit, or defeat to being Majin fucking Boo or Cell. I can't die because I can regenerate from a cell. Nobody gives a fuck. It makes the fights inconsequential and boring. Uh, with uh, the whole Back to the Future, most Eisley thing, um, Andros runs outside the tavern and you're a space ranger. Fly into space. Oh, yeah, Fly yeah. up, Idiot dumbass. who's on his boogie board just fucking going who's around. Who's pulling the, the Marty West. McFly yeah. stuff. Yeah, he's fucking <laughs> going around this old west town because, yeah. fuck, we stole this set for a day. Let's let's enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what they did. Motherfucker, get that's, off the planet. Oh, yeah. That's what that was. You you, were, you nailed it. That's what that really was. We right. had this set for a day. Yeah, see how we stole it from Back to the Future? Yep. Isn't it right. cool? I'm like, actually, yes. Yes, it is very cool. It is kind of cool, but, but can you. we just move on now? Now go to space. <laughs> so uh, somehow Doc, Dark Honda got to Earth really fast. Dark Honda's quick. No, no, that's not the thing that I have. The thing that I have is Dark Honda makes ultimatum because he has the Ranger Skype number two. Well, they can, they can teleport, so when they appear places, it doesn't surprise me at all. Right. But so, the fact that he's just able to be like, uh, like Rangers! I like how he can call the Rangers. Yeah. And even when he dies, where the fuck does he go? He didn't come back where he died. He just explodes and goes somewhere. Yeah. And he's like, damn it. It's his Big respawn fucking point. Deal. There he's you like, go. Yeah. His respawn point. He's like, yeah. damn. He put it somewhere. He's like, they ain't going to find it here. Yeah. It's probably what where he's it? got that banner thing. No, what is it? It's it's like that comic I found where fucking it, it's Super Mario Brothers, like the the original. Oh. And it starts one one, and then Mario saves the princess, and they get married, and you know they go through life, and then they die, and then all of a sudden it says one one, and Mario's back. He's like, "What the fuck just happened?" Because he died, so he's respawned back at one one. So I I got a question here. They have the key cards. Why don't they make copies of it in case they need to use them as... They here's why. Copied. Here's wh- No, literally, here's why. Because, hey guys, I got these key cards. They were, fr- they were on El- uh, Altar. That means Zordon had something to do with them. Rangers, bring me the key cards. Fuck, I gotta go, bye. Yeah, and he did. He took them. I wouldn't have given it to him. First off, 
First off, when Darkonda called, when he walks in, he's like, yeah, they're like, what the fuck happened to you? And he's like, oh, I ran into Darkonda. No, you didn't. You went fucking looking for him, first off. Second, as soon as the ultimatum comes in, he's like, give me that shit back. And he takes him, he's like, I'm going to go get my sister. Just me. Yeah. And it was TJ that overcalled him and said, motherfucker, yeah. we... Literally, Darkonda gives... Uh, this is the note, word for word that I have it. Darkonda makes ultimatum. Idiot leaves on his own and team says, fuck your lone wolf shit, we're coming with you. They... TJ overstepped him. He said, no, we are going with you. He kind of reminds me of, like, like, like TJ's like the Spock to Andros' Kirk. In a way, because but, but Kirk, Kirk was quick to utilize the members that he had on hand for the True. situation. I'm just saying that, that when it comes yeah. to like Spock is there to be like if Kirk has a decision, he'll go over and like, what do you think, Spock? And Spock's like, well, I blah 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 blah. He's like, yeah, because he knows when yeah. it comes down to come like but making here's important the thing. decisions. But here's the thing: bouncing ideas is better. But we saw that, didn't we? you saw it, you saw it when they went into the elevator. When when TJ's like, no, we're gonna come with you. He didn't fight him. He didn't say, no, I got this. He just, I think, but I think he didn't fight him because I think he's starting to figure out. We're gonna see a lot more evidence that TJ has been overstepping him. Yeah, TJ should be the leader of the Space Rangers. Yeah, mm -hmm. he really should. But because we've learned, red is leader. Red is leader. Red is leader. Now green and white are leader. Now gold is leader, but red is always leader. I found out something very interesting. Almost what? every color has been leader. Except for blue, which you can count, uh, like, actual leader. Because I just found out, because already, we already know that in Time Force, pink is leader. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I found the out, assigned I leader. Yes, I found yeah. out. Well, she's a better leader because Wes is new and everything. She knows what to do. But uh, Wild Force has a different color uh, leader, which is interesting. I just found that out. So that's fun we'll, when we get to that, who the leader is on that one. But, uh... But, uh, so, they go to Earth, and... Let's see... Uh, Dark Honda goes from melting to giant size with horns going mad. Yeah, Dark Honda's fucking shit up. Because he took the fucking uh, strength potion and he drank some poison. Yeah, yeah, basically. Which, the poison doesn't really kill him. It he makes drank, it, like, goo he, everywhere, and he goes feral. Yep, he drank fucking honorable ecliptor poison. He's gone rabid. Yeah. So they, they summon their Megazords, and the Megazords actually cannot take this man down. Yeah, the two finishers they try off don't work, and it does actually result in two monsters now. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, and they cannot, the Astro Megazord and the um, Astro Delta Megazord cannot take him down. And, it, yeah. and, it, and I got two things real quick. The first is that apparently Elgar hates the game that's on the enemy ship. I just wanted to throw that out there in case anybody missed it. Man, I hate the video games on this damn thing. Psh. <laughs> All you have is Silver Surfer, asshole. It's the enemy ship. <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> and then the other thing as well is while they're fighting, they give it the, I'm giving her out. She's got Captain. By the way, what uh, what's the standard Megazord? What What is it? The Astro Megazord. Oh, yeah? The blue one? Why, uh, why can it not handle this fight? Actually, I don't think it was just that. It was they the, brought the Delta Megazord, too. Yeah, it was too. the Delta... Yeah. Yeah. Why can that Megazord not handle this fight? I guess it's not powerful enough. Bullshit. It should be. Once again, mm -hmm. Andros' fault, and I'll point it out when we get there. And uh, I have proof it, that Andros has been sabotaging their ability to win. It becomes to be continued when the Megazord is sliding across some street roads. Yeah, slide. Yeah, because I slide. literally I have it written down as well. Oh no, terrible decision by the leader is going to kill us. Cliffhanger. This entire fight was brought on them because because look, here's the thing. You could make the argument that they never would have got the Megazords if he never would have loaned Wolfed and went out there and fucking caused a situation and got these cards. Okay, you could make that. And Destiny's full of crazy decisions like that. You never know. Mm -hmm. One decision that seems inconsequential could change the future. Yes. But this entire battle is his fault. Yep. yep. Darkonda would not have come to the planet, been poisoned, and been that desperate to have such a huge fight to get those cards back... And we probably would have received a different kind of fight altogether where Darkonda, we may have received information that he was on his way to retrieve powerful weapons and we would have went to him and had a very different fight. He got that potion and decided to use it that day because he was desperate to get back what he'd lost. But well, my question mm -hmm. is, is that 
eventually he was going to use that potion. Andros had nothing to do with the potion being sabotaged. This is true. So he eventually he was going to take it. Yes. Right. And he was going to have that. We would have had very different circumstances and probably been a little more prepared what, than the Red Ranger just got back from somewhere. We were just doing something. I get, I'm not, I mean. And, and now we have to go fight Darkonda because. And none of us are hey, prepared. And we don't know yeah. the backstory these, between, behind what the fuck is even going on. So we're not going in a good, our team is not in a good spot to work with one another I right now. I know it may seem like I'm trying to defend Andros because I like the character. Yes. I know he's not a good leader. He does a lot of lone wolfing shit. I get it. It's not healthy. Even if he did lone wolfing shit, if he was more honest about it, he's a fucking liar. I would. If if he's a liar and a fucking shadow dweller, all they had to do was be. All all they had to do was just do this. When the team is like, Andrews, why is it that we're on a team, but you always do this stuff by yourself, guys? For two years, I was by myself. Yeah, I'm. I'm just so used to going and doing things by myself. It's hard for me to work with a team. Because I've never really had one. That would have been Done. a better excuse in Done. episode four or five. Yes. And, and now they, we're on episode fucking 16. We're lone would, wolf they shit. They would have been getting us they, in goddamn trouble. It's they would, not just the lone wolf shit. It's the fact that he tells the computer, you don't know where I went. So yeah. you know what happened? They all got back. They Where's searched Andros? the ship. There is no Andros. I, when they were up on the bridge, why are they not down there at the table hanging out, eating dinner, talking with each other? Because they're looking for him. Now... Because they got back and their fucking leader is missing. And they don't know why. And they don't know what. So they I, and they ask Decca, And Decca's response is, I don't know where the fuck he is. Because, I was told not to tell you. Because he's programmed not to talk. Because to- that's another problem with the leader thing. Decca listens to him. So he says, don't tell anybody where the fuck I went. When it come- and when they come back and their teammate is missing... It is, they were on the bridge it looking is for weird. It is weird because TJ, Ashley, Cassie, Carlos, they asked Decca a question. They're like, Decca, shut the doors. She'll listen. But when Andros is like, Decca, leader command, basically. Yeah. I don't think that's right. Because what happens if Andros would have died? But Andros is the leader. And if Andros had died, they wouldn't have known about it until Darkonda showed up with new weapons and fucking destroyed them. I, I get, yeah. I'm going to tell you something. Well, I like his backstory because it is something different. Yeah. His leadership skills do need some work. Oh, my God. You mean, you mean when we get to his backstory? No. Yeah. Which we get pieces of backstory later on. But you also got to remember, I, I already know his full backstory because I did watch it. It's this. true that we have seen it before. I mean, I'm, I, it's not fresh, hardcore in oh, my it, mind. It, it's, it's, right. it's nothing new. It's very cliche, to, yeah. be, to be honest with you. But for a Power Rangers show... When you don't, when you've had leaders before that didn't really have tragedy, right? Tommy closest one because he was manipulated, and that could have a, an effect on you later in life, right? Andros dealt with real hardship, in my opinion, and that is hardship, and it really is. But that's that's as far as I'm going to defend him when it comes to yeah. why he does what he does. Yes. Now, is it right? I'm never I telling just you feel, it's right. I feel like. TJ should have been in red. He should have been in black. Yep. Carlos should have been blue. Yep. Really? Yeah. Yeah. We always, or we already kn- Ashley could have been or blue. Ashley could have been moved to blue, but this makes no sense. Ashley is a mech head. Yeah. Or was one. Was one in turbo. She wanted to fix everything and work on cars and learn all this mechanic shit. Then she comes up here to the sp- to the ship and she's like. Oh, I forgot my wrench. Fuck it. Yeah, but now I would also tell you that Cassie's gotten quite a uh, techie. You might be able to move either of the girls into blue, but I, I think Carlos should have been moved out of black. That is where that is where Andros Carlos, should be. Okay, yeah. each okay. I literally the black the, the black ranger often is the often heart of the team. Is the guy? No, he's the muscle. Yeah, Zach was the physically strong guy, and when he fought. Because we used the Sentai footage, and Ghosh was definitely the strong character. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. He was the mammoth that ran through the enemies. He would grab a putty by the head with one arm and flip it. Oh, shit. That's, okay. Mm-hmm. Ghosh is the second in command. Yes. Yeah. Which means that Zach, and it, we, we always knew that Zach was yes. second in command. When Adam took over, and Rocky took over, and Aisha, and then Tommy Rocky was... Rocky became third, kind of. I believe yeah. that even Adam was still... I, I, even though the White Ranger was the leader, right. 
I still believe that Adam was second in command. But when we when right. we look at that, I really think by the personalities that are laid down right now, Andros is always the first one to rush in. Oh, I got my colors mixed up. I, 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 I'm not joking. I literally watched a, a video of like why certain rangers are certain colors. Yellow is the heart. Yeah, yeah that, that's team. fine. I, I can get behind that. Yeah. But, like, right now, the Black Ranger is supposed to be the muscle. That's that's literally what it seems like. He's the aggressive. He's usually the aggressive second-in-command. He's usually physically strong. And he's usually the first to run in. Yep. Which we actually see part of that mentality when he accidentally hits his own teammate in a good episode that's coming down the line. Yep. Well, that, those are good. But Andros is always the first to run off, do for himself, be the lone wolf, and make the first aggressive attack. He should have been the Black Ranger, yep. not the Red. I could see you putting, I could see you putting Carlos in blue, TJ in red, Andros in black, and if you and even keeping the girls the same, or if you want to put one of the girls in blue, hell, that's going to happen here soon anyway. Yeah, technically speaking, if we, yeah, I've got her. Could've... I like her a lot. I think yeah. I'm trying to remember. Is she, I think yes, yes, I think mm-hmm. Tori. From Ninja Storm becomes the first Blue Ranger. Yeah, I'm female. pretty sure she is the first female yeah. Blue Ranger, yeah. which is interesting, actually. Yeah. Um, well, we'll get to that when we get to that show. Right? Yeah, but, that's, but that's again, a little ways like, away. Like they should have moved. The colors yeah. are wrong. Yeah, colors are just way the way the fuck yeah. wrong. Fuck it. 